Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Jeff Heath coming back at you with another thing that I love to use with my camera. Here we go. Hey, what's up? We are back. And by we, I mean me as back, I as back, I am back. Use English, Jeff, you can do it. Just wanted to share with you a little bit about a fun new product that I bought for my 1DX, which I am filming on right now. When I bought the 1DX, one of the first things I knew I had to do was get ND filters. I am used to using built-in NDs on the C100, which is what I used to use for I got the 1DX. Because I do a lot of stuff outdoors, I want shallow depth of field. ND filters are something that you have to have to have to have. The quick explanation that everybody gives about ND filters, it's like having sunglasses for your camera. Uh, so just brings things down, you can crank up your aperture, let that nice bokeh flow when you have a ND filter. So one of the problems I had was I have um, a lot of go-to lenses that I use regularly. Each one of these lenses has a different thread size. So the one I'm shooting on right now is a 16 to 35. Uh, it has an 82 millimeter thread. My 50 mil lens, which has a 72, 70 to 200 has a 77. You have a few different options then for ND filters and things that you can do. You can get an ND filter for each one of your lenses that can get expensive as they're like $150 plus. You can buy one bigger one and then get step up and step down rings. You can get the variable ND filters as well, which is what a lot of video guys do. But again, you're running into the thread sizes and uh, buying one for each lens and then the step up and step down rings and screwing things on and screwing things off. All that is well and good if you have time to do things. A lot of what I do, like I said, is run and gun quick shooting, lots of things happen quickly. I wanna be able to switch things out without spending tons and tons of money on each one of my lenses having an ND filter. What I found was this company out of San Francisco called Breakthrough Photography. That's them right there. And what they are doing is something I've never seen before. Maybe someone else is doing it, but I've never seen this before, is what they are doing is making magnetic rings that fit all of their ND filters, just one ND filter, different rings. And the way that this works is pretty slick. So this is what their magnetic ring looks like. It's called the X100. It's an adapter. So this is the 72 millimeter lens. The way it goes on is just screws on just like any other filter would on your lens. So my 50 mil here uh, got dropped. So it's a little bit harder to get on, but just screws on right there. And that's what it looks like when it's on there. It's got this nice spinning ring here. I'll explain what that's about in a second. But what you do is simple. You take your ND filter. This is their uh, X4 ND, their highest range ND filter. It doesn't have a thread on there. If you see there, there is no thread. Uh, the reason that is, is because it's a magnetic system. Just clips in and goes there, boom not going anywhere. Off, on. The reason this is amazing is because their adapter rings are under 20 bucks. I think they're $15 uh, on their website. So what you can do is get these rings. This is the 82, which would have been on this 16 to 35. That would just go on top there. This is the 77 version on my 70 to 200. The reason that this is amazing is because I can take my ND filter off of my 50 mil. If I switch to my 7200, boom, right on there. I want to switch back to my 50 mil, take that off, and it's back on there again. Uh, these things are amazing, super easy, super functional. They come with these handy cloths. They come with these carrying cases uh, for everything. The other thing that they claim, I haven't done any tests on this, uh, so don't quote me on this, but if you go to their website, they have side-by-side -side comparisons about color cast. A lot of problems people have with ND filters is they have color cast in their photos. They'll turn a little more magenta, a little more green. Um, they'll turn a different color than what you normally want, so you're having to compensate with that in color correcting. With photo, not a big deal, but with video, it can become a big problem. Uh, they claim almost zero color cast on there, and they do 
a comparison view of what that looks like. So I've got an ND6 for my photography stuff, an ND3, which is what I typically use for my video stuff. And I love it. I, I simply just love it. I'm not a big fan of variable NDs because depending on the quality that you get, uh, you can get different artifacting and different looks uh, that vignette or screw up your picture. So for me, who's running gunning all the time, I need things to be quick and efficient. I would rather have these rings that I can have on each one of my size lenses and then have my ND filter that is transferable between all those size of rings, which I think is an amazing thing. One of the cool things as well for all y'all who are photographers, if you look here, you can see that this ring spins. So if you have a gradual ND or a gradual polarizer, uh, you can just spin it like that. I, I think this is the best way for me with the 1DX or with something that doesn't have built-in uh, ND filters to use. So check them out, leave a comment down below, tell me what ND filters that you love using on your lenses, what has worked great, what has not worked great, uh, and let me know if you have any questions about these ND filters. I would be happy to answer them if I know the answer. Thanks for watching friends, look forward to seeing you again.